for yes, first sure. group. So if you want to turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then does the printer always come on? Is yeah, it? it does. Okay. What we do is we pick patient. I'll just grab me. So once we have a patient, you would pick test, right? So it's the same procedure that we did with the shoulder, except we set up for the knee. So we go to knee extension flexion, which is the first one, not the second one. You would pick a protocol. And again, you can create as many protocols as you want, and there would be a list of all the different protocols. Also, you'll see protocols with dates after them. That means you use those protocols for that patient and when you use them. So if you want to redo a test, you would just look for the protocol with the date that you're thinking, click it, and it'll rerun it. So for the neat, um, click OK. So we're at the test status screen. You can test in any order you like, the right side or the left side. So if we want to do the right side knee, what we do is we click right. This is a two-speed protocol. If we want to do both sets, we would do all sets that would strip us right down. We do single set, we just do the first set. How do we set up our machine? Just like this, there's a green G and a black M. So my green G is here, my black M is there, okay? What attachments do I use? If I double click these, it shows you my attachments that I use, which is this guy. Which is also labeled. Yep, okay. knee hip adapter. Tight hand. Yep, okay. that's good. And like just a little bit of space there, that's cool. Okay. All right. So how do we set up the chair? So it's a green rotation of 40. The back angle is 85. So what you usually do is you have the person sit in the chair like you do. You ask them to sit up straight for a second, and you're actually right at the base of the machine, so I don't have to adjust the seat back. The angle of the 85 is actually your. The rotation, the green 40, so I pick this up. I'm gonna rotate down here. There's my green 40, and you really wanna to try to be on target here. You just, the better you're on target here, the better it works out on that end of the thing. So that takes care of my chair for now. So like, this is like, for me, it feels like there's a one finger gap, yep. or should it be, is that? No, that's good, so you can just bend your right back, yep. You okay. don't have to go nuts, just to get around the chair. Got it. And when that other piece is working, when this leg is back like it holds it back like that, you sort of automatically get to where you want to be to, to make that bend. Okay. All right, so the dynamometer tilt is zero, that's already set. The dynamometer height is eight, and the rotation is a green 40. So I would pick this up. My green 40 is there, my height is here. So what I would do is I would line this up on the green 40. I'm gonna push from the center of the dynamometer. A little further. So is the 40 where the- The short one is. The short one, okay. Okay. Is yep. it not discreet? So like you, you just have to try to get as close as you can. Yeah, because what'll happen is at the end of the day, what matters is here. So that's sort of a get in this area and then trim it up. Okay. So now what we want to do is line up the axis rotation of the dynamo with the axis rotation of the knee. So what I want to do is I'm going to flip up the X, the four app, this guy, which lets the chair go this way and that way. Okay. So I'm going to grab here and step here, press on that pedal. Now the chair can come forward mm -hmm. towards me. So I pull her towards me. trying to line this up and if I like it I pick up my foot I push this down and then usually the contralateral is there and I push on that but okay. not the, just that. Leg comes up thank you 
So again, I don't make it super tight, Pretty snug. but I make it snug. Yeah. And you want to make sure you get the back on so that people don't pull out of it. Okay. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. It shouldn't feel like it's pulling or pushing on no. you. Yeah. Great. So anatomical zero. So right now the machine has no idea where her knee is, so we need to tell it. So anatomical zero in this case is the leg at full extension. So if I take her leg and then she has full extension and you do. Mm -hmm. And I just press this. Then I need to set a range of motion for her to work through. Right? Two ways to do it. The easiest way, it's gonna back you down a little bit. I'm gonna pick this track patient ROM. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna measure the endpoints. And if I like that. I press set ROM, and now what will happen is the software stops are in place. So it stops when she gets here, it stops when she gets there. But I need to follow it up with the hardware stops, a green I and a black X. So that goes here, and that goes there. So it's four warm-up repetitions, so you can hold the handles on the side if you want. Oh, yeah. So 25% up, 25% back, all the way up. 50% up. There you go. That's it. Two. You want to breathe? Yeah. <laughs> and the last one. There you go. And relax. I won't be very strong. I still have a tear in this knee. <laughs> so here's where you'd say work as hard and as fast as possible in both directions. Go through a 400. It's five reps. Mm -hmm. We're going to put your leg back. When the screen changes, then we'll say go. Okay. No rush. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Leg goes back. Yeah. Screen changes. Go. There you go. I'm waiting for the click. Nice. Waiting for your knee to click? No, uh -oh. I'm waiting for it to feel. Oh. This is good. This is good, actually. Yeah. We should test impaired limbs. If you've had, you know, it. Relax. I'm not an advocate of taste testing all the healthy people because yeah. everybody's got two sides and you typically hurt one side, so you've got a, a baseline. So this is meniscectomy, but this has a torn meniscus. There you go. So. I see. I haven't got it fixed yet. <laughs> so then if you want to do the high speed test, okay? Yeah. All right. So I do a single set. So this is the four warm ups. You ready? Go. It's a lot faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, fast. One more. Relax. So I hold your leg off the back and you give the work as hard as fast as possible both directions. Go through a four inch motion. So 15 reps, you ready to rock? Yes. Okay, we're gonna put your leg back, we'll wait for the screen to change, and then when it changes, blast off. Okay. Okay, so you can put the leg back. Go, give us 15. One, two, three, four, five, come on. Seven, eight, nine, five more. This is really hard. This is hard, this one. It's your leg. One more, there you go, relax. That is really hard. Whoa. Good job. Nobody, nobody said getting stronger is easy. It's easy. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. So no. when you want to do the other side, right? Yeah. Do you want to do the other side? Or? Sure. Okay. It'll be it'll be interesting because it's okay. So what you do is you pick left for the other side, right? You pick all sets. Switch our stops so it's a, a green M and a black G. Okay. I unstrap your leg, we take this, right, put it on the other side. Okay. And then to turn her around, all we need to do is, if this side is a green 40, I know the other side is a black 40, it also tells me that. But I move her out of the way, I pick this up, I move this out of the way, I bring this all the way around. So I push this far enough so that her legs can get mm -hmm. in, right, she's not stuck. So then my 40 is... There. I know this is set up a little bit down. So this is gonna be a black 40 at eight, which is right about there. I snap this down. The monitor tray goes to the other side. So if we didn't serve me as an indication, this is not getting recorded? It's getting recorded, it's just shoving it under me. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, leg up. There we go. So I'm gonna just adjust you a little bit. Next side. 
So now you have something to work on. I know. That's why I wanted my I wanted my measurements. <laughs> 40 everything else is cool that's lined up so mm -hmm. I'm gonna click okay here so it's the same thing anatomical so hurt do you have full extension on this side let me see yeah so this nice now can you straighten it out yes. hey, okay so we do that so now we have a choice because we did the other side and we have the range of motion from the other side I can either set the range using extension and flexion I can set the range using track patient ROM or what I can use is what's called mirror ROM which is show me her range from the other side Okay, and if she can hit it, the red turns green. So pink, and pink. So now you have the exact same range of motion side to side. Press set ROM, that'll set the software stops. Then I have to set the hardware stops, which are an I and an X. Wait, is it a green? It's a green X. Oops. This is the slow speed, okay? Yeah. Well, easy. I will. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you should do it. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is good. I should practice yeah. these things. All the way up. There you go. And all the way back. Nice. This is going to be the five reps. Mm -hmm. Okay, right or rock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the slow speed. Leg goes back, wait for the screen, so relax. Leg goes back, screen, go. Give us five. This is going to be the 15 reps. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. So we'll wait for the screen. Okay. The light goes back. Last off. You got this, Julie. Yeah. Other than that, it's just fine. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> yeah, the comparison. Yeah. All right, so when you're all done testing, you click OK, right? It automatically saves the results, and if you want to see the results, just do preview. You're yeah, not so bad. Huh. Yeah, you're kind of side to side. So the left is the red. No, that's the that's the coefficient of variation. Oh, so okay, you so. were a little bit in. So let me do a different test, and I'll explain that. So this is showing the best rep, OK? Um, because it says best. Oh, best. Right? But what you might want to do, so if the coefficient of variation is a little high, that means right we weren't consistent somewhere. Mm -hmm. So if I do short form, but torque versus time, that'll show me every single rep. Yeah. So my guess is we'll see one rep that's low. Um, <coughs> so let's see. So the 17, that's on the right side. So it's this side. Uh, you were kind of fatiguing, like you had this really strong one, mm -hmm. and then you sort of, that's where your variation came. Mm -hmm. So you did really well on um, you know, the 80, and then it just sort of dropped. What happened there? <laughs> See how these are more consistent? Oh. And this is your good side, right? Your right side's your good side? I guess, yeah. Okay. But my left side stayed... It's, the, it's more consistent, it's still weaker. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still weaker. Yeah. So you got some work to do. Mm -hmm. And at the high speed too, yeah. So it's not like one particular area in the range, you're just a little bit weaker. Okay. So if I went back to the other one, actually if I did this. So this is where your deficit tends to lie. Oh yeah, so that's, yeah. okay. Yeah. So right. that's really key. So your left side, you're kind of slow getting going, right? Mm -hmm. you, but 
you might have some inhibition. It's the first time you're on the machine, you're a little bit nervous. You know that you're your injured side, right? And my hamstring rupture. Yeah. So you're, yeah. <laughs> so you're, yeah. So, you know, that's what you're seeing. Okay. And that's the whole idea behind isokinetics is you, you see what you're treating. Mm -hmm. That's what we mean. It's not diagnostic. Right. Like, oh, you have a torn meniscus, no. which is where they got carried away when they first came out with this stuff. They're like, oh, that's Plica syndrome. Oh, that's, the, it's like, no, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. All it does is it just says, this is the force output. Take all the other stuff you know that went on, mm -hmm. and you can say the result of that is a force output of this, but mm -hmm. you can't do the inverse in saying this is the pathology. Mm -hmm. So it's at 80 degrees of extension? Yeah, so it's, like, so it's like right where you're getting started, it's down here, you're just kind of slow getting started, right? Yeah. Your ramp up, once you get going, you're, you're pretty then good. Then it's okay. Yeah, and your hamstrings are fine. I mean, yeah. you're symmetrical there. Good. Right, so like, you know, if you were a patient, you know, we were working on you, you really, you just need to do like from 100 to 60, right? So without this, traditionally, they'd be having you go in the full 90, 110 degrees. You're wasting half your time. You don't have Can to you do show that. us again, uh, like the first group, where how you drop to those parameter lines? Oh, yeah, sure. So then what you can do is you can just, if you just start clicking, it starts putting them in. But the faster way of doing it is like, you know, 80 looks like about the middle. Mm -hmm. If I just type in 80, the deficit's 37%. And then you can identify in a short arc where yeah. they would so have... Like, so things come together at 60, right? So I'd probably do that. The deficit's down to 6%. Things kind of start right around there. So around 98. So that would be my training range. Exactly. Okay. Like there's no deficit there. Okay. And that's the way it works. Perfect. Simple is good. You want a copy? Yes. <laughs> Put it on the fridge. Now when I come back. I know, exactly. You know, show us what you got here. Mm -hmm. So if I do print. Hopefully it prints. Yeah. Uh, yes, let me know when it works. Yeah. <laughs> that was too fast. It didn't really print. Something else is printing on. There you go. So I noticed that you were like holding the arm up and then letting it go back like and that's Before kind of they what triggered start the it test. to yeah. start it. So what will happen is the HUMAC doesn't want to start until the arm is all the way at the beginning of the range. So if I'm talking to the patient, I don't want the machine to start. So whenever they're doing something and I'm talking to them, I just hang on to it. Mm -hmm. Right. And then when I'm when I want them to start, I'll mm -hmm. say, OK, you ready? Yes. Then when I hit the stop, the starting position, that's when this thing knows, hey, it's time to start the test. Is there any way, like, is there a way to manually hit, like, a button or anything, or is that just the, the only way to, like, start it? We, start the test? Yeah, so we automated it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I agree that, that that would be a different way of doing mm -hmm. it. Like, for example, when we're doing isometric, you can actually put a threshold in there mm -hmm. because you'll want to put them at that position, but you may say, you know what, they have to generate five foot pounds of torque before we turn the display on or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you'll see when you're doing isometrics, there's a chance to put a torque threshold to start the test. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, there's kind of, I don't know, six one way, half dozen the other way. Mm -hmm. The other way was to then the clinician would have to be at the machine and, and touch the you know, hold your leg there while I press start. Okay, right. Thank you. It's like you're a real patient. <laughs> All right. So if you want to do the gravity correction, right, what you would do is you would do... In person, what? off the device? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Stay there, I'm going to need you anyway. Okay. So file preferences. So what I would do is I would turn your gravity correction on, so this guy. Okay. okay. So now if I did a uh, test, I want to do a knee extension flexion test, right? And we're going to do the left side single set. So it would be, here's the stop. So even if you're just playing, just always go through the steps like you're really using it. And that's because you've got a G and M up top. Got it. Then what we would do is, you know, the zero. And this is the range from the last time. So if we could get to the 98 again, we could set around. And what'll happen is when we do this, this is the gravity correction piece. So this is a new window. So what you'd do is you'd put the leg you know, full extension is probably the best because it's the biggest effect of gravity, right? Mm -hmm. would, oh, and I'd I be tied in. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would lock, I'll send you it. Okay. What happens is you tell the person, so relax. And I would say, you know, 
relax as much as you can, and then you're going to relax, and I would do Wei Lin. Okay. And it would capture it there. So I would be locked in mm -hmm. yep. and weigh the limb. And then click OK. So then when the test is done, it would take those results and apply this. Unless you turned it off in the preferences, then it wouldn't give you the results without that. And but you said you can up. always go back and forth as long if as you... If you weigh the limb on if the front end, you can it. always go back and, and take, take it, it out. out. Yeah. Okay. If you don't weigh the limb right. on the front end, you can't, <laughs> you can't take it out. So, right. you never put it but it's always good to limb. do it. Yeah. We're gonna validate. Yeah. And what was the first window we in to weigh the limb? It was. Oh, we did it through here. Hold through on one second. So we did file, file preferences, preferences, and data analysis. This is where you turn it on and off the gravity yeah. correction. And once you do that, if it's on, it will automatically ask. Q you. Q you. When you go to that. As task. soon as you set the the range of motion, the next screen is gonna be. Let's weigh the limb. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, for the filtering yep. setting, can you set the good drawing? question for Rich? But you can change the sampling if you want to. Okay. The sampling rate. Yeah. So if you did file preferences, and you went down to where does he have it? Oh, you know what? You have to have that. Oh, here it is. Sampling. So it's there. 100, 250, 500, 1250, 2500. And just know if you pick something like 2500, your screens are going to be really slow changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like super slow. Mm -hmm. So don't pick that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and your spreadsheets are super long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet.